everyone, welcome back to my channel. It is Drew here from Lone Fox, and today I have a DIY video for you, but not only is it a DIY video, it is also my 200,000 subscriber giveaway, and that's going to take place at the end of the video, which I am so, so excited for. I've actually never done a giveaway on this channel before. This is my first one. I can't believe we hit 200K, that is insane, and I'm giving away a total of eight different prizes. Eight of you guys can win this giveaway, which is amazing. So definitely stay tuned, stick around to the end because I'm gonna give you guys all of the details. It's 100% international, so don't worry about that. But today I'm doing a Target dollar spot DIY slash hacks video for you. And I kind of was just going to do my 200,000 subscriber giveaway as just a video on its own. But then I was kind of like, you know what? Like I wanna add a couple of just miniature projects in this video. So this video is kind of just like a miniature DIY video slash my 200,000 subscriber giveaway. It's not gonna be a full-on super intense DIY projects but I think that these three projects that I am going to share with you are super amazing and great especially for the summertime because these are all items that you could find in your Target's dollar section right now for summer. Target your dollar spot is like three dollars and five dollars which I guess it's called a dollar spot so I guess it could be three dollars or five dollars but I expected everything to be a dollar. I really haven't shopped the dollar section at my Target very often but I did go there in attempts to kind of like DIY some items from there and I did pick up some things but most of them were three or five dollars but I think you guys are definitely going to love the project still because they came out amazing and look a lot more expensive than of course what I purchased them for and I think you're going to definitely love them and they are perfect for the summer season that we're currently in so stay tuned for those and quickly before jumping in definitely subscribe to my channel I post brand new home decor and DIY content every single week here on the channel and you can also follow me on Instagram at Lone Fox Home which I'll put on the screen for you guys but let's just jump onto these projects and then roll on into the giveaway Alrighty, jump again. The first project that we're going to be making is using this Target Dollar Spot little spool with some string and clothespins on it. I'm honestly not too sure what this is used for, but I could imagine it being used for like a picture hanging banner or something along the lines of like DIY or crafting in general. So what I did was I pulled off all the clothespins and I'm actually breaking these apart. Well, I'm not breaking them. I'm actually just get disconnecting them. And basically how you do this is you just pull out the sides of the wooden clothespin from the little metal hinge in the center. It's pretty simple and easy. Uh, not too much force is used at all. It just Set those little metal pieces aside and then you're gonna have all your wooden sections so I'm basically going to be gluing these wooden sections together from the very bottom points and I'm connecting them together and this is just kind of like a little bit of a placement holder it's not going to be super strong bond um, because later on I'm actually going to glue it to the spool base and actually creates kind of like a little candle holder so I'm gluing all these together I think I use about 15 to 16 of them so you're gonna need a total of that many clothespins but that little target $3 spool actually came with quite a few clothespins Once those were all completely dried, I basically glued them on to the spool. And this is kind of going to be the base or the uh, like foundation structure for our candle holder. And I'm gluing them with the little like rivets of the wood pieces facing outwards, just because I find that to be a little bit more decorative. I think it kind of has like more of a finished look, if you will. So I've glued these all the way around, leaving about a quarter inch gap in between, uh, kind of like basically missing every other spot with the little clothespin sections and I glued this all the way around the edge. You can do it back to back if you want to make it like extremely solid and not have any gaps at all but I thought having the gaps kind of created a little bit more of a visual like interest because you can kind of see on the inside of the spool. <laughs> And once I was done, I decided that I actually wanted to go in with a little bit of black paint. And I probably should have painted these before gluing them onto the spool just to be very careful to not get any paint on the spool. But I kind of did this as a last minute thing. I thought the wood was gonna be nice to start with, but I ended up just wanting to add a little bit more of a kind of like farmhouse effect to it. So I painted it with a black paint and I just did this on the outside. And then I also went in and lined the inside edges of all of these little clothespins just to give it a finished look. A little random side note, I created a choker necklace using the center sections of those clothespins, so kind of like a little add-on project to the little $3 candle holder we already created. Mm -hmm. 
Moving right along, I'm going to be using these little metal lanterns that I found at the Target dollar section. I got a larger and a smaller one, and I think these are meant for like the barbecue slash 4th of July sort of theme that they're going for right now. And I gave them a nice coat of a satin white spray paint, and this was just to make them a little bit more cohesive because I wanted them to end up looking very fresh and clean. So here's the larger one with the white paint and then the smaller one, and these took the spray paint extremely well. So next what I'm doing is I'm grabbing a couple of yarns that I just have in my collection here, and I'm actually going to be attaching these to the bottom of the smaller one so to the handle section of the smaller lantern I ended up adding that little red strip but I ended up taking it off in the end and kind of going with more of a creamy white uh, gray slash yellow theme and I'm just kind of cutting them off I'm using a couple strands at a time and just varying the lengths very random and if you keep them long you could actually end up cutting them in the end and then I'm using a quick hold like a cement adhesive super strong bond and I'm gluing this smaller one to the larger ones bottom half because I wanted it to look a little bit more of a grander lantern and I see a lot of lanterns shaped like this anyways so I thought it was nice to kind of just give this lantern a little bit more of a decorative accessory to the bottom using the smaller lantern and I ended up adding a couple more strands the next day because I just felt like it wasn't full enough so I kind of just piled on the yarn to give it a very very thick and just like more whimsical design to the bottom of it and then once you are completely done you could hang it up and you have a perfect summer party lantern. Saving one of the best projects for last, I'm using this wooden tray from the Target Dollar Spot. It is actually pretty cute to start with, but I want to turn it into something even cuter. So I'm starting off by using some foam board, and this is from Michaels, but it's basically just any foam board. You can get it really anywhere. It's meant for science projects, and I'm actually measuring out a one and three quarter inch wide section, and I'm using an X-Acto knife and ruler to carefully go over it multiple times until the foam is cut very cleanly. That is my definite recommendation on how to cut foam board. Do not use scissors. Do not use anything but an X-Acto knife and a ruler and just go slowly and over the section multiple times so i cut out multiple i think i cut about three or four one and three quarter inch wide sections and these are going to be the shelves inside of our little framework which is the tray so all i did was i cut it down to the width of the tray and just used a ruler to measure out the width and then use a little bit of strong bond adhesive just to glue this down onto the inside section of your tray so the tray is kind of acting as like the frame or the foundation and once those are all glued in i'm actually going Going to be adding some vertical sections to this and I'm going to just kind of place my uh, piece on there measure it out cut it down to size and then just stick it in the slot so just use your ruler to kind of measure out the section in between the shelves like this and then use your exacto knife to score it, cut the section, and then glue it in. And this is going to create a miniature little display case, which I thought would be so cute for like if you're a crystal collector or if you have any like miniature little jewelry pieces or just anything miniature that you want to display and put on display for in your room or for your friends, whatever it might be. I thought this was a super cute idea. Alrighty, so how fun were some of those projects? I definitely think the lantern is such a fun idea for like a summer party or like a barbecue or just to keep it inside. If you like that vibe in your home, then go for it. And you can paint these any color you want, like a matte farmhouse black could be really, really nice. And then just maybe like altering the tassels for some like rope or something to give it more of a rustic vibe. There's a lot you could do with those. But the moment you guys have all been waiting for is the 200,000 subscriber giveaway. And let's just get into that right now. I just want to let you all know that this giveaway is 100% international. If you are anywhere, if you are a viewer from absolutely anywhere, you are able to enter this giveaway and I will ship prizes absolutely wherever they need to go because I definitely think investing a little bit more to have everyone getting an equal opportunity is amazing. So that's going to be the first thing. And the second thing is that this giveaway is going to be open for two weeks from today, which means that the giveaway is going to be open until July 10th. So the July 10th is going to be the last day to enter this giveaway. And I'll have a lot more information in the description box below if you just want to see more of a written out version rather than hearing me talk about it because I can talk kind of quick sometimes. But I'm sure you're all wondering what you are going to win and the winner of the giveaway I'm going to be giving away five. Yes five $100 Amazon gift card. So five winners are going to receive a hundred dollar Amazon gift card And then I thought you know what on top of that I want to give away some DIY projects because so many of you guys when I posted on my YouTube community Said that you would love to receive DIY projects from me and I was like I never even expected that at all So I thought it would be so much fun to have three additional winners when a custom DIY project from me So each of them will receive one custom project made by me and I'm actually going to turn those projects into a video called 
called DIYing Gifts for My Subscribers. So I'm so excited. Three of you guys can win a custom DIY project from me and I'll be in contact with you after the giveaway ends and you are chosen to kind of create your custom project and we can just like brainstorm and think of fun things. So I'm that I think that idea is just so fun in general. So those are the prizes, five Amazon gift cards and three custom DIY projects. And it is so simple to enter this giveaway and there are actually multiple different ways to enter and all you have to do is just follow the link in the description box below. There's a link right at the top. It's a raffle copter link. So you're going to see right at the top of my description box, it'll say enter this giveaway and there'll be a raffle copter link. So click on that link and this is going to take you to my custom like little raffle copter site. And that just makes it so much easier to enter giveaways as opposed to like having to comment on videos and stuff. So once you head over there, you could simply follow the directions over on the raffle copter page. All you have to do is enter your email to start. Just press login with email at the bottom. And there are three different ways to enter this giveaway. So the first one gives you three entries and that is to be subscribed to my channel. Um, the second one, it gives you two entries and that's to be following Lone Fox Home on Instagram. And the third option is to be following my personal Instagram account and that gives you one point. So you can gain a total of six different entries to this giveaway. I um, mean, it adds up and then at the end, it's just going to anonymously choose eight different winners. Um, it's very easy and pretty straightforward if you click on it and then just head over to the Rafflecopter site um, and just enter the giveaway through that. I just find it so much easier um, and a lot more opportunities to enter than just leaving a comment on the video and it's just a bit more fair I believe and it's easier for me to actually contact you guys afterwards to get you guys your prizes so that was kind of a lot of talking but I'm very excited about this giveaway and I just want to thank you guys so much from the bottom of my heart for getting me to 200,000 subscribers that is absolutely amazing and I cannot believe just the success of this channel in such a short amount of time I absolutely love creating projects for you guys and doing room makeovers and doing transformations and hacks and organizing all that stuff is just so fun to me so I'm so excited that you guys love Lone Fox just as much as I do and I just wanted to give back to eight of you guys and give you guys a lovely little prize and hope you guys will enter it's so simple it's so easy and of course if you don't enter there's no chance of winning but if you do enter you never know there's a chance of winning a prize so that's all for today's video definitely subscribe to my channel if you've not already because I'm gonna be doing more giveaways in the near future and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up as well and that's really all I wish you all the best of luck in this giveaway and I'm so excited excited to see who the winners are and to honestly to create those projects for you guys so excited for that video too so i will catch you all in the next one not gonna blabber on anymore have an amazing day and i will see you next time bye guys